Hello and welcome to Aquas Corner. Hello YouTube. I'm back again. Yesterday I talked a little bit about this and by then I thought it wasn't a big incident, no big deal. But today I read an article that made me decide maybe I should do a video about it. So what I'm talking about is the situation with Miguel Angel Lopez. He was pushed off his bike by a spectator and in the following scenes he was shown hitting said fan. And well, now in this article the journalist actually said that Lopez should be happy that he got away and still got the white jersey because in his opinion he should have been stripped that jersey, he should have been eliminated by the Giro d'Italia race jury and I want to quote this. He said, the UCI rules are clear. Assault, intimidation, abuse, threats and unseemly behavior directed at another person, including spectators, is punished with a 500 to 2000 Swiss franc fine, 10 to 100 UCI points penalty and elimination or disqualification. So, let me get this straight. There is a fan who pushes a rider off his bike. He loses because of that incident more than a minute in the general classification because he has on the mountain climb on his bike again, get into his rhythm again and start chasing and he should be punished because he gave sad spectator one little slap like it wasn't even a fist, it wasn't really assault. He gave him a slap in the heat of the moment. You have to understand, we are on the final mountain of a three week Grand Tour. The riders are tired. And he gave him one slap. And you want to disqualify, uh, you want to disqualify the rider, but the spectator who actually did the harm, that guy is unpunished. That's just. That's just ridiculous in my opinion. And yeah, probably British journalist wants to see the guy from Team Ineos in the white jersey, Zivakov, who got second in the Young Rider classification, but still, uh, I don't think Miguel Angel Lopez should be punished for what he did. Uh, I think he had every right, right especially in the heat of the moment. Uh, I think if it was at the beginning of a stage and he was not fatigued or anything, I think you would have shrugged it off and nothing happened. But in that situation, you, are, you have three weeks of racing in your legs. It is the final mountain. You want to make up time in the general classification. Maybe attack, maybe try to push for the podium, I don't know. And then you get hit by a fan. Uh, of course you're upset in that situation. And then the journalist further argues that Roglic got a time penalty, he got a 10 second penalty because he was pushed up the mountain by another spectator and he lost 10 seconds because of that. And rightly so, because Roglic just could have pushed the fan aside, said to him, hey, I don't need your help, I'm strong enough on my own, but he accepted the push, he gladly took it he was happy, he did nothing against that person and that is the difference. One spectator was helping Roglic while the other spectator was actually harming Miguel Angel Lopez. So those two incidents are not comparable. Yes, both of them had spectators or fans or whatever you want to call this, uh, those guys involved, but two completely different outcomes. One was helping a cyclist and the other one was like pushing him off his bike. And uh, they, do, they shouldn't receive the same penalty just because they had an incident with a fan. Uh, that's, just, that's just not the rules. And uh, you can't always go exactly by the rules, by the book. Uh, and in some, kind, in some variations you, you just have to bend the rules. Like in this case with Miguel Angel Lopez. Yes, he slapped the fa a fan, but should he really be disqualified for that? Because before 
he had all he had a very good reason to to push that fan or well, to slap that guy. Um, so in my opinion, the race Jerry did good on both occasions. It was a good decision that they gave a penalty to Roglic because he accepted a push from a fan and saved energy because of that up the mountain. So yeah, they gave him a 10 second penalty, nothing much, but still a little penalty. And they decided not to interfere with the situation that Miguel Angel Lopez had because it wasn't his fault. He lost more than enough time already because of that incident. So why punish him further for a situation that was out of his control? He was riding just up the mountain and was taken down by a spectator while Roglic was helped by one of them. So I really get this, uh, why this journalist thinks that right now Miguel Angel Lopez has to be happy that he was still on the final podium with the white jersey. Uh, I think he deserved it. And like I said, maybe because he wanted to see Sivakov in the jersey. I don't know. Maybe he has something against Astana or Lopez. I don't know what it is. But if we look at it objectively, I think the Giro d'Italia did the right thing on both uh, on both occasions but yeah let me know what you think about uh, those two incidents on the final mountain stage of this year's Giro d'Italia uh, I've given you my opinion on this if you liked the video please leave a like subscribe and until then I'm out <laughs>